everyone, welcome to My Millennial Money Express. I'm Glenn James and have you wanted to know what to do if you can't save money and your expenses are high? It's a common thing that people ask uh, and I've got some bad news for you. Uh, the only thing we can really do uh, with our budget is, well, there's actually three to four main things you can do with your budget, right? You can increase your income. So that might be uh, get a pay rise. It could be get a side hustle or a second job. The next one is decrease your expenses. And what I mean by that is not necessarily decreasing or removing something out of the budget, but a category in your budget. Can you decrease that area? Okay. So it might be uh, my allocation to sport events or something like that. Can I decrease that area? The third thing is actually cutting something out completely. So what can you sacrifice to save more money? And ultimately, the fourth thing that you can do uh, is not save as much. So we haven't got many things when it comes to our budget to play with other than the four things. And I'll repeat them again. Increase your income, decrease expenses, cut something out completely or save less. So we want to save more. So what are some things that we can do to try and save more? So I will recommend maybe you might want to get a, a side hustle or a second job temporarily if you've got a, a short term goal that you want to full on attack. And that could be you want to pay down some debt. That could be you want to zip up the coast or go on a, a weekend away in a few months for a milestone birthday or something fun like that. You might want to get a second job to save for a house. You might want to do that. Or you might say, look, I want to start investing. Uh, my expenses are high. There's no room left in my budget to invest. So I'm going to get a second job. Everything I earn from that job, whether it's um, casual on the weekends or a permanent part time on a on an evening or even a side hustle, everything I generate from that, I'm going to invest. Now, the reason I, I kind of don't suggest that you get a second job or a side hustle um, just to put money into your budget is because I think that could be a waste of your time and effort because you're basically just going to consume that extra money and not put it towards a goal. And I think it's less incentive to, I guess, stick with it in the medium term because you're just working for the sake of more money that gets swallowed up by maybe going out more or you might be a victim of lifestyle inflation. And that is the more we earn, the more we spend. So how to save more money while your expenses are high. It's, it's an easy thing to do, but also a challenging thing. So I want to encourage you today. What can you do if you do have a goal that you want to attack? I want you to ask yourself, can you do something or sacrifice something for something else? What can you trade off in your life today for something for tomorrow? And it's an interesting thing because everything we do in society, it happens so fast. I want my food now. I want my delivery same day. I want, I want, I want. There is no resilience that's getting built up in us as a society for delaying pleasure. And the only thing that we can't control is certainly the maths equation. And that is we need to save up actual money to get something uh, that we don't have the money for, particularly if we want to stay out of consumer debt. So just wanted to jump on and quickly encourage you to say, what can you do to be strategic in saving more money? And if you're a terrible saver like myself, become an investor. And I certainly think the best investment you can first make is to pay down any consumer debt that's in your life and then decide no more consumer debt for me. I'm Glenn James. Thanks for checking me out today. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.